Uh, so many thanks for your time and speaking to Bloomberg Thank Quaint. You, you know, uh, now you're coming up with this uh, beauty electric vehicle for the Indian market, and that's the first foray of Haima as well. Right. With uh, bird, the Tecton bird, bird, electric, bird yeah. electric as well. Talk to you about when can we see this product? What kind of market are you eyeing for? So uh, this particular, so just to give you a quick background on Bird Electric, we've been in the EV space for the last 10 years. Uh, we've been manufacturing segways and been putting around two or 300 units in the marketplace. Uh, we wanted to extend the portfolio of our uh, um, the, uh, products in the market, and we've uh, at this particular um, uh, auto show on uh, launching the ES1, uh, which is our scooter, and the EV1, which is a joint production car with. The Haima. Uh, this is a uh, fully electric vehicle. Uh, we are planning to put this in the market by January or the uh, early 2020. 22, sorry. Right. So talk to you about you know uh, this partnership that you have, the tech transfer, right, yeah. the kind of investment uh, you're going to put in to make sure this product is out in the market. What kind of capacity are you expecting? Right. So we've already done a lot of investment in terms of ensuring and adapting the design for India. Uh, we've already have uh, focused on a site, a production site, which is an existing site uh, of what we have uh, in uh, Manesar to produce this. Um, I don't think we have a number as yet that how much would be there before we actually launch the vehicle, but it'll be significant, of course, a new car, new platform. Uh, we would be doing approximately 5,000 units uh, per year. That is the expected capacity of the production uh, site. Right. You know, EV has been the central theme of this year's Auto Expo. We saw Mahindra unveiling a while back. Tata already has Maruti showcasing its vision for the green mobility. How, how do you aim to fit yourself uh, in this, you know, upcoming well, crowd market? We've worked on the design. we worked on the product. we worked on the features around this. Uh, of course, I mean, I don't think we will be the only ones. Of course, it's always a good choice for the consumers. But we can safely say we'll be one of the top end uh, ones in terms of value for money uh, for yourself, in terms of design, and in also in terms of our distribution and service capabilities. So that's where we wanted to focus ourselves on uh, for customer satisfaction. Right. Uh, price uh, anxiety, range anxiety and price has been the key concern. You're pricing at about 10 lakhs. Right. Uh, how do you aim to solve the other issue as far as the infrastructure is concerned? So as far as the uh, range of the vehicle is concerned, it's 200 kilometers. Uh, we've had several tests in the last uh, couple of uh, years ever since we started to work on this particular project. I don't think you drive more than 50 or 60 or 70 kilometers uh, in city driving uh, on a daily basis. Uh, we are doubling that up to uh, give uh, so, so that there is no range anxiety for uh, doing the uh, um, you know for anybody who wanted to uh, have an ownership of the vehicle. But we are talking about a launch which is uh, nearly 18 months ahead of us right now. I think by that time also we'd have fast charging infrastructure in the market and we look at fast charging I mean this can go up to 80% charge in 20 minutes. So I think we would have that uh, capability eventually in the cities as well. But I, I even if that is not there I think it's a great vehicle to uh, to own for a daily use. Would you be investing in infrastructure as well as part of setting up charging grids in the country? Well, we are looking at opportunities, uh, but in case that is required, but every of this vehicle will be supplied with an uh, um, with a charger, which will be equipped to be uh, installed at uh, the residence of uh, uh, the owner of the vehicle, and I think that is something which will go on. And as part of this, uh, the partnership as well, are you going to bring more vehicles to the market, or EV is going to be the main driving force? Right, as I mentioned to you, EV is the main driving force as of now, so this is the vehicle we were talking about as of now to get it launched in the marketplace. But having said that, they have a good uh, production IC vehicles as well, and we've got them on display here uh, today to see and uh, evaluate the market feedback on that. And it all depends beyond that, that uh, you know, how it sort of the partnership unfolds. Uh, and a while ago, I was speaking to country's largest automaker, Maruti. They seem to be a little bit hesitant about you know, getting these products out in the market. They say, until unless there's a mass adoption there, they will be, you know, waiting for that to come and then they'll launch the vehicle. But we are seeing others such as yours are looking into launching. The, how, how do you aim to counter that argument of mass adoption well, you know, and there has to be a start, uh, and uh, there has been a start. I mean, you look at China right now, majority of the two-wheelers uh, which are there are all uh, uh, electric, uh, and I think it's just the point of adapting uh, uh, and getting the right move, and I think we would have a first move advantage uh, with the vehicle as well. I mean, we're talking about that. There has been, um, uh, you know, in, in terms of design and in terms of aesthetic, in terms of uh, doing, I think we'd be far, I think so, we'd be far ahead than what the competitors might, might be at that, that marketplace. But as I mentioned, we are producing 5,000 units and uh, given the consumption and everything else, I think that is pretty easy to uh, be sold uh, in, uh, in in one year. Just to add on the investment bit, how much are you looking to invest in the coming two years in the ramp up to your launch in the country? See, as I mentioned to you, we don't have a figure in our mind on how much investment is required, of course. I mean, as I mentioned that we've already invested in the land, 
we've already pre-invested in getting the vehicle to the design phase as what it is right now here. Uh, and of course, I mean, we we equipped to do the rest of the investments as well. How much have you invested already? Again, I mean, there is no figure. We are privately held. Thanks. All right, sir. Thank you. you know, pleasure speaking with you. Many thanks for your time and speaking to Bloomberg Queen.